All right, everybody, welcome. This is gonna be a high intensity interval training circuit using three essential exercises, the squat, the push, and the pull. We're gonna use the kettlebell for a kettlebell row, the push-up, we're gonna do a crawl-up push-up, or we're gonna do a basic ass to grass or air squat. So get yourself ready, get your timer, and join me, won't you? All right, everybody, this is Levi James from Element Athletic, and this is gonna be your first high-intensity interval training session with me. So grab your timer. You're gonna flick your timer to 25 seconds of work with 10-second rest breaks in between. That's gonna give you just enough time to catch your breath before moving on to the next exercise. Here we go. Okay, so we're gonna go over our three exercises. First one is gonna be the basic air squat, squatting all the way down, and back up, okay? From the side, you wanna keep the posture nice and tall, push the hips back, knees out over the toes, hands in front for balance, keeping your head and eyes up, squatting down nice and low, coming all the way back up. Full hip flexion, full hip extension, making sure the legs are fully straight, okay? The next exercise is what we call the crawl out push-up. You start from a standing position, you're gonna crouch down, always keeping your head above your hips, crawl out, hands next to your shoulders, down, Back up, crawl back, and stand all the way up. One more time, squatting down, make sure you keep your head above your hips. Crawl out, chest to the floor, push up, crawl back, bending your knees, and standing all the way back up from the side, looks like this, squatting down, crawl out, full plank position, push up, crawl back, and stand up, nice and simple. Now, when it comes to the kettlebell row, if you don't have a kettlebell, totally fine. If you have a dumbbell, that's awesome. You're gonna make sure that you set either implement up on the inside of the foot on the opposite side that you're pulling. I'm pulling on my right, so I set the kettlebell up on the left foot, right here like so. I'm acting like I'm starting with an old lawnmower. Some of you may not understand that reference. I bet I'm aging myself. But you're gonna pull from here and back. Tap and back. We don't necessarily wanna go straight up because we don't wanna shrug the weight up into the shoulder like so. We're gonna pull back, tap to the ground, tap to the ground. Very important as well that you breathe out on the exertion. So you figure out where's the effort. When I pull this way, I breathe out. When I push off the ground, that's when I breathe out. You'll hear my breathing throughout the circuit. Some of you may be turned off by it, hopefully not. You'll just be inspired to breathe because it's essential for our being. All right, so like I said before, you're gonna grab your timer, set yourself for 25 seconds of work and 12 seconds of rest. So we're working at almost a two to one ratio. I work twice as long as I rest, hence the high intensity interval training. Boop -a -doop, -a -doop, doop -a -doop, doop -a doop, doop doop. Screen savers and things. Okay, so here we go. Make sure we turn it up so that we can hear it. So we start squat, push, pull on the right, pull on the left, and then repeat one time for eight total rounds. Ready? Here we go, guys. Starting with the squat. In four, three, two, one, let's go. Make sure the knees go out over the toes, get down as low as you possibly can. Avoid leaning forward. Make sure we're getting the hips working in there. Push those knees out to the side. Track over the toes. Keep everything moving in line with each other. Everything likes it like this. Almost done. Good break, shake it out. So you have eight seconds. Catch your breath. Now we're gonna go into the crawl out push up. Make sure we squat down first, always keeping the head above the hips. Here we go. Squatting down, out, push back. And up. Back out. And back. Now if you're a little bit more advanced and you've got a good push up, double up your push up. All the way back up, down, out, and back. Keep going. Good. All right, guys, here we go. So now we're gonna go into that row. You're gonna take your kettlebell or dumbbell, set up on the inside of your, of your foot, brace on the other side, here we go. Pull it up, tap it, tap. Now you're gonna notice that I'm turning my palm up as well, engaging both heads of the biceps. Pull the elbow down nice and low, so we get more of the lats on the back side. We don't wanna shrug the shoulder up. Keep those elbows nice and low. 
Excellent, put it down, switch your feet around. Quick, simple, easy switch. Ready, four, three, two, same thing left side, here we go. Always make sure you contact the ground so you get the full pull, full release. Full pull, full release. Pumps up your guns too. Three, two, one. And we're gonna break right there, good. So now we go to the top of the list again. Back into our squats. I'm gonna do it from the side this time so you see my posture. Ready, two. One, down low, and up, full extension of the hip. Down, you need to squeeze your butt at the top. I like to imagine there's a walnut between my butt cheeks. I'm trying to crack it. That's vegan, isn't it? I think it's vegan. Nobody hurts a nut. Good, okay. Now we're back to that crawl out push up, and you can tell. The faster you move, the more you're gonna get your heart rate up, right? And then what we want is increasing that VO2 max. Let's go. Single push up, stand up. Let's go double push up, double it up. One, two, good. Crawl back. Always keep your head above your hips because as the heart rate increases, we wanna make sure we don't get dizzy or lightheaded at the top. Draw it up, finish it. Awesome, okay. Now we're back on that row on the right side. Bring your kettlebell in. Only four more seconds. Let's not waste it. Let's go, set up. Three, two, pull. Gun show on the right side. You can even pull it up, pause. Back down. Pause. Increase the intensity a little bit. And back down, make sure the arm's doing all the work. Everything else is just stabilizing. Tap it, and break. Good, let's switch to the other side. Okay, this is gonna be eight of eight. This is gonna finish off the circuit for us. So, let's get down, let's get dirty. Here we go, guys. Two, one, and tap it. I'm not gonna get extra credit for those first two reps. Dang it. Good thing about time is it keeps you focused and keeps you organized. You want to focus on how well you do the movement, not how fast you do it. Speed comes with time. Focus on how well you're engaging those muscles. Whew. All right, guys, so that's eight of eight. If you found that useful, I want you to like this video. I want you to comment on how it made you feel, and I want you to subscribe to this channel because we have so much more amazing content coming up for you guys. It's going to be unbelievable. So until the next time, please like, comment, and subscribe, and we're going to see you again on the Healthy Transformation for more awesome high-intensity interval training. Till then, guys.